couple other people here just so you know who's standing around. Uh, Steve Goldman uh, with the FBI will be speaking with you uh, in a few minutes. Uh, Sheriff Svensson, Tim Svensson, Yamhill County Sheriff. We have Captains Ray and Bowdell uh, over on the wings uh, over there. So uh, I'm going to give you some information this morning about an ongoing investigation, give you some background on that. Uh, and what we're really looking for in summary this morning is to ask the uh, public for help, ask uh, folks that we uh, think might be victims uh, or potential victims in this case uh, to come forward. So if uh, I want to start with, um, here on, we have Robert, I think it's, we pronounce his last name Kirster. We've been calling him Coaster or Kester. He often goes by Bert K., uh, for those he deals with. He's a professional photographer, 52 years of age, and his connect to Yamhill County is uh, he owned property in rural Carlton area, and I'll talk more about that in a couple of minutes. He's a professional photographer of models, mostly uh, fairly young women, uh, not minors obviously, but uh, some minors and some adults. This uh, case began with his arrest uh, in, Carls in Carlsbad, California. He's uh, been uh, charged down there with about uh, with over 20 sex-related crimes with uh, four teenage victims. Uh, in the investigation there, uh, developed information for a connect with victims of offenses in Oregon. Mr. Uh, Kirster had a piece of property in rural Carlton area and in that area, we uh, became aware that he um, had multiple young women, young adult women, uh, coming forward and coming up to this area for the purposes of uh, photography. He was, as I mentioned, he was a photographer of models uh, and was, a, was apparently uh, well known for that. Multiple victims uh, were identified that uh, were at the property here. Uh, the property, just so that you know, is about 28 acres of land. As I said, it's rural. There are multiple buildings on it, and there was evidence uh, when a search warrant was executed out there that there were multiple areas within the buildings where um, the modeling, where studio work would have been done. In, uh, in Yamhill County, the Yamhill County Grand Jury has indicted Mr. Kirster on 32 counts, uh, 32 different uh, charges relating to four different victims. One a minor, the other three young adults. The, he has been charged uh, with, uh, just so I don't get it wrong here, he's been charged with multiple offenses including rape in the first degree, sodomy in the first degree, unlawful sexual penetration un, uh, in the first degree, and causing another to ingest controlled substances. In California, he was arrested, as I mentioned, on multiple sexual, sexual offenses, as well as, um, uh, as, well as uh, sex offenses um, with persons who were incapacitated by the use of drugs. What we're looking for today, we have information, we believe that there are other victims which, uh, from uh, the property here, other individuals who were potentially victims uh, while they were in this area. He would bring models from other states to Oregon, bring them out to the property where, the, where they would be photographed. We're looking for information about, uh, from individuals who may have been victims, may think that they potentially were victims, and as importantly, other individuals who might know of, of people who were at this particular property and in the home with Mr. Kirster. Our concern, obviously, is, well, the, the big deal here is that we are aware we have uh, photographs and other uh, videos related to individuals that we've not been able to identify. And we're reaching out completely to find uh, as many as we can, identify as many individuals as we have photographs on, uh, and we need their help. The, uh, Steve will be talking here in a moment about the FBI tip line, which has been set up. It's a very simple tip line that people can log into. The FBI.gov is the uh, way to get to the tip line. There's a questionnaire there for individuals who are familiar with Mr. Kirster, have been involved as, uh, anywhere, but in particular from where again Hill County is concerned, individuals who may have been on the property here, whether they believe they were victims or not. We're confident that they can aid us in identifying other individuals who were on the property who may well have been victims. Uh, of him. 
So with that then, um, I'd like to introduce Steve uh, Goldman. He's the Assistant Special Agent in Charge from FBI Portland. Steve? Thank you, DA Barry. Thank you, Sheriff Swenson. About two and a half months ago, uh, this joint investigation launched and quickly brought together uh, the work of the Carlsbad Police, the San Diego FBI, the FBI here in Oregon, and of course, the Yamhill County Sheriff's Office. Um, as the DA mentioned, um, Mr. Kirster is currently facing 23 counts uh, filed by uh, San Diego, San Diego County. He's also facing two federal counts that have been filed down in Southern California. Um, those charges are, are sexual exploitation of minors. Uh, we can't talk about the ongoing investigation, but what we have done is we've set up a pretty efficient way trying to get as much information, trying to get in touch with as many victims as we can through the FBI.gov website. So go into the FBI.gov website, backslash model case, will take you to the site where victims can enter their information and pretty quickly and efficiently uh, get in touch with our investigators. The website also has links to provide for um, other victim services, uh, should, should anybody need those. Um, The victims in this case, it's very important to us. This investigation's ongoing. Um, we're interested in putting together a complete picture as to what happened in the situation with Mr. Kirster. And uh, that's all I have for you at this, at this time. Thanks. We're here to take questions if you have it. The video, is it, is it just uh, still pictures? Is there video? and characterize the number of potential other faces you've seen that you have not attached a name to yet. Yes to video, yes to pictures. Uh, the, it's hard to give you an estimate of the number of victims and in part because the amount of information which has been seized and yet to be analyzed uh, is huge. So we don't really know. Part of the reason for having something as big as this on an ongoing investigation is to reach out to those who, who can come to us and say, yes, I've been out there. Yes, I have information. Yes, I know people who were there when I was there that I can identify. Uh, and ultimately aid us in identifying when we do come across those pictures, we do come across more videos, that we can identify who those people are. They're not just a face. We can put a name to them. And they can be, they, they could potentially be from, from anywhere in the country, even, even beyond our borders? <clears throat> I don't, I can't tell you beyond our borders. I'm not going to go that far. Uh, any place in the country I, I think is possible. Um, we, much of what we've seen so far we believe is West Coast, California and Oregon, but we certainly uh, are aware that models, especially models that begin to get into the practice, they're going to be all over the country working. Uh, and thus we're trying to reach out as far as we can to get information. How many different sites were, there was a, of course a site in Carlton, are there any other sites that he was using for a studio? Uh, outside of that property? In yes. The, not the, that, that I'm aware of now, it doesn't mean that it didn't happen. So yes. you mentioned that some of the uh, women in the videos appear, and the photos appear to be incapacitated and you did one of the charges references uh, use of controlled substances. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Did, was he drugging these women? I'm not going to get into the exact details. Um, uh, you, I think you can uh, draw conclusions from the charges as they are. When was the uh, search in, of his property here and what, um, and the <coughs> four victims that you've identified in the indictment here, are they from here or were they brought here from California? They were, uh, I think they were all brought here from California. I'm not positive. I think, I know at least three were brought here from other places. And, and when what did was the you other search? When did you search his property? The property has been searched twice. It was searched late November, and was searched uh, again within the past ten days. And are you trying to connect the photos that you found at his property to potential victims? Or? There, there is uh, evidence, digital evidence, which was uh, discovered both in the California cases, 
investigation there from California authorities as well as the FBI, as well as evidence here, digital evidence here uh, from the searches in Oregon. He is in custody? He is in custody in California, state of California. And how did you find out about him in California? I mean, was uh, the California and, and, and federal authorities reached out to Yamhill County authorities and FBI Portland and Salem uh, when they began to get evidence and information that they believed crimes were being committed up here. In California, do you happen to know if somebody came forward and reported him, or how did they find him in the first place? I, I'm, I'm not. I don't know the details of the California investigation well enough to answer questions about it. Is this guy, is this guy a pornographer? I mean, is there, is there video and digital evidence of adults having sex, which is not necessarily illegal, even if it is video or, or pictures of it? Is he, is he a pornographer that has, uh, uh, I'll just leave it at that. I believe the, uh, well, in, in part what the special agent was talking about, They've got to be a little careful on what are likely charges. So uh, I believe that there will, there are child pornography charges which could be brought, uh, and I'll speak in our jurisdiction. They have not been brought as of yet. This is a cooperative investigation between both uh, the FBI, local authorities here, local authorities in uh, Carlsbad, California, and the FBI in California. And at some point, uh, all of the agencies will cooperate on how best to bring these charges against him. How did none he of these sexual encounters that you have discovered digitally, et cetera, appear to be consensual, in other words? He has, not been, he has not been charged in our case with anything that appeared to be consensual. How did he attract his victims or He's customers? He's a photographer of models. Do you know if he worked alone or he worked for another uh, company or others? Or? We, we, have not, uh, we have not charged anyone else as a co-conspirator or uh, co-defendant in this case. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, and this on, as, uh, as Steve mentioned, this investigation is ongoing, uh, and I certainly don't want to preclude what may come up in the future. I just wonder if he worked for a professional agency or he was a business. He had referrals from professional modeling agencies for the purposes of, of filming uh, models and inspiring models. From when to when did he live here versus in California? Did he go back and forth? I don't know if he went back and forth, uh, and we are um, I don't know how long he's had the property here. It was told, uh, we believe, sometime in 12 or 13 the property was purchased here. How long had he worked as a professional photographer, to your knowledge? Since the 90s. Okay. Do uh, the models appear both unclothed and clothed, or are they all? Again, I'm not going to get into the details, uh, the exact details of, the, of what we have on that. Does he have a record before all this? Uh, any sex crime charges previously? I, uh, you know, I know the answer to that question, but I can't recall it right now, so I'll get back to you on that. Okay. How long has he owned this property in Carlton? Uh, as I said, we believe he bought it, bought it in 12 or 13. Or acquired it, I don't know, but it's, it is purchased by him. Is anyone living there currently? Um, the, the property is being monitored. Um, I don't, I'm not going to give you information about who may be there and at what times, obviously. When was he arrested? in November okay. uh, of 18. What precipitated his arrest? Uh, again, uh, that gets into the details of the California investigation and I'm not familiar enough with them to, to really give you that. I'd hate to give you wrong, I'd rather give you no information than wrong information. Do you know how many victims have been identified so far between the two states? I know there are four charged in, the California charges are four different victims and Yamhill County has indicted uh, on charges relating to four victims here. Are they the same victims? They are not. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Berry. You said some of the uh, individuals were incapacitated with drugs. Are there any drug charges that are pending with this individual? Well, he has been charged with causing another to, unlawfully causing another to ingest a controlled substance. Those are part of the charges in Yamhill County. And what was that substance? And again, that's, a, that's getting into a detail I'm not, I'm not willing to talk about. So to be clear, it's indicted or charged for eight total victims so far? He four has and four? been indicted and charged in four victims in Oregon. And? And there are four other victims that he's been charged with uh, sexual offenses in California. That's a total of eight. Okay. Total of eight. And there but are again, we're looking, we, we, uh, we wholly anticipate there are more. Okay. That need to be identified. Uh, I'm just doing the math here. So you've got, uh, looking back, you've got 
23 counts filed by San Diego County, two federal counts, and that's 25, and then 32 counts from the grand jury here. So that's, uh, you add all those together for the total number of counts he's facing Sorry. all together? That, none of those are overlapping. None of those are overlapping. Okay. What, from when to when do the crimes span? Uh, again, I'm not going to speak for the California ones. Uh, I think all of the crimes that are charged here are uh, fall of uh, 2018. I'm actually going to look back to my chief deputy. Is that right? Fall of 18? Yes. Fall of 18 are, are the charges in Yakima County. How far do the timestamps go on the videos and photos that you have recovered? <coughs> I mean, if he's been doing a photographer since the 90s. That's a really good question. So the question is how far back do these timestamps go? Uh, we still have um, many, many terabytes of information to be forensically reviewed. So I don't, I don't know the answer to that, and it's only because we haven't had time yet to get through all of the, all of the evidence. Any other questions? Thank you again. Uh, we're looking for people who may have been victims, who may have known victims, and uh, just as, as little as I've been there and I was with other people that they might be able to help us identify. So thank you for being here.